I'd like you to get started by looking at the structure and the summary of the yogurt data set on your own computer. You may want to pause the video now to give yourself some time to load in the data set and to download it first from the instructor notes. This yogurt data set contains over 2,000 observations for nine different variables. The observations are for households that buy Dan and yogurt over time. Now, one thing you might notice is that most of the variables in here are integers, but I want to convert one of the variables to a factor, and that's the ID variable. We'll see how this comes in handy later in the course, but just make sure that it says factor right here on your data set as well. If ID doesn't say factor for the type of variable, make sure you run this command in order to change ID to a factor variable. Once you've done all this, I want you to create a histogram of the yogurt prices. Copy and paste your R code into the R chunk on the quiz screen that will appear here, and then write a few sentences about what you notice. So that way we can be consistent as we work through the data set together, I want you to be sure to read in the data set into the variable called yo. You can of course use other variable names, but our auto grader will only accept answers for our programming assignments that have this data frame labeled as yo.